Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly set up and run Video SDK's RTC React example. This example includes an extensive readme containing all the different features and a brief guide on how to set up and run the example. The setup for this project includes signing up on Video SDK's dashboard and familiarizing yourself with a few concepts like API key and token. The prerequisites include React version 16 or later, Node version 10 or later, and a valid Video SDK account. So without further ado, let's get into running the sample app. First of all, we need to clone the repository. For that, we can just copy the link given here and paste it into our terminal. Next step includes setting up the environment variables. For that, we can open up our favorite code editor and in that, we can just do cp.env.example.env. Once our environment file is in place, the next step is to configure it. For that, you need a video SDK token. From here on, to generate the token, there are two different ways. You can either create a temporary token from Video SDK's dashboard or set up your own authentication server to generate one. We at Video SDK suggest that for production environments, you should set up your own API server and generate a new token every time. But for the sake of this project, we'll just go to Video SDK's dashboard and generate a temporary one. From here, you can go to the API keys section under which you will get a generate token action. You can select a time of expiry and that's it. You have the token ready. You can then paste this token here where it says React App Video SDK Token. Once we have the token in place, we can now install all our dependencies. To do so, we'll just do npm install. Once all our dependencies have been installed, it's time to push the launch button and start our application. For that, we can just do npm run start and that, there it is, our application in place. This right here is called the pre-call screen. The users have the option to select an initial microphone, speaker or camera device to enter the meeting with. They can also select whether they want to initially keep their microphone on or off and camera on or off. They can also check the network stats from here. Then they have the option to create a meeting or join an existing one. They can create a meeting by just entering their name and that's it. We have entered the meeting environment. Here we have all kinds of different options such as starting a recording, raising hand, toggling between microphone or selecting different microphone and speaker devices, toggling between webcam on or off, or selecting any other webcam devices, presenting the screen, starting picture in picture mode, chatting with other people available in the room, and so on. From here, users can view different stats of the meeting, such as latency, jitter, and packet loss. To get more valuable insights of the session, or to debug it, you can go to the meetings section of the dashboard under which you will find all your sessions. This is the current ongoing session and you can get all your details such as the session overview, errors, the overall session stats, details of all the participants and so on. That's it for this video. I hope you understand all the concepts. Don't forget to start our repository and share it with other developers in your network. And if you have any queries, please reach out to us on our Discord channel. Thank you.